Studying about the facial nerve, we need to know the anatomy of the facial nerve. Regarding anatomy, for the, first of all, the introduction of the facial nerve. Facial nerve is a mixed type of nerve which has motor and sensory type of uh, activities. Motor, motor, you know, egg zones are usually 7000 motor egg zone and 3000 uh, sensory egg zone. What is the motor supply of the facial nerve? Usually it supplies the facial muscle of the face and sensory supply to the uh, pina as well as external auditory canal. And there is also uh, se uh, secretory function for the secretory motor function of the facial nerve which uh, which helps in the secretion of the lacrimal gland, submandibular and uh, sublingual salivary gland secretion. And this was the general introduction for the facial nerve. Now come to the anatomy portion of the facial nerve. The facial nerve originates from the uh, supranuclear nuclear and how does the cortex region the fiber of the facial nerve originates from the cortex region and it usually descends down to the brain stem that is the portion which is known as the supranuclear region means to cortex fibers from the face, uh, cortex to the brain stem and um, the region of the facial nerve in the brain stem is considered as nuclear nuclear region now coming to the special uh, uh, site that is known as intracranial region of the facial nerve. Intracranial region is uh, the uh, cerebellopentine uh, angle situated at cerebellopentine. Sorry, cerebellopentine angle, uh, and um, there is no division of the facial nerve in this region. And now coming to the main uh, main portion of the facial nerve that is in the, uh, called as intratemporal region of the facial nerve. Intratemporal region has usually three branches of the facial nerve uh, and extratemporal is further divided into intraparotid and extraparotid. Regarding uh, it is very uh, confusing uh, to remember all the branches of the facial nerve so we uh, we should remember just the mnemonics uh, because three branches are in intratemporal region that is SSC. Now coming to the extra temporal region, intra temp uh, intra parotid region gives three more branch that is DSP and extra parotid uh, has terminal branch that is known as TEZ TEZ BMC. Look, uh, uh, these are the uh, all the branches of the facial nerve. First three branch in the intra temporal region. Uh, that is SSC. SSC means superficial petrosal nerve, nerve to stapedius and corda tympani. I will repeat superficial petrosal nerve, nerve to stapedius and corda tympani nerve. Now, uh, intraparotid intra region gives three more branches that is DSP. D means uh, digastric, nerve to digastric, uh, nerve to stylohyoid, and preauricular nerve. These are the digastric, stylohyoid, and preauricular uh, nerve. And now coming to the last and the terminal branch of the facial nerve, that is THBMC means how, what does this mean? Temporal, zygomatic, buccal, mandibular, and cervical. Temporal, zygomatic, buccal, mandibular, and cervical. This is starts from the top of our face and goes downward. Uh, so uh, in this way now um, further uh, studying about the four segment in the intratemporal region how can we remember this four segment and then four segment uh, along with its side look meet la time so in this way we can remember this four segment meatal segment labyrinthine segment tympanic segment and mastoid segment then we should know the extension of this region we are uh, at the cerebropentine angle in the intracranial region look then cerebropontine the nerve will descend downward to the internal auditory meatus that is known as meatal segment now from internal auditory meatus to the geniculate gangli ganglion look internal auditory meatus to geniculate ganglion that is labyrinthine segment now from geniculate ganglion to the pyramid geniculate ganglion to the pyramid that is um, tympanic segment
meet la time me and now from pyramid to the uh, pyramid to the sternocleidomastoid that is me at all sternocleidomastoid that is me at all segment and now from the sternocleidomastoid to the uh, foramen uh, to the uh, for ens uh, enserina foramen enserina and that is the extra temporal region of the uh, facial nerve uh, enserina so um, this was for the extra temporal uh, so we have studied i will go thoroughly look uh, from the cortex the fiber originated uh, to the uh, bones means brain stem region that is known as supranuclear and from uh, within the uh, brain stem that is known as nuclear and now it will descend to the cerebrocontine region that is intracranial region and now in intratemporal region is has three branches that is ssc uh, superficial petrosal sternohyoid and corda tympani uh, sorry this is not to stapedius and then comes with the four segment there are meet la time that we have talked and now extra temporal has intra parotid and extra parotid extra parotid is the terminal branch we should remember temp uh, temporal zygomatic buccal uh, mandibular and cervical and this is intra parotid region means um, digastric stylo uh, hyoid and pre auricular this was all for the anatomy portion now coming to the um, surgical landmark of the facial nerve regarding surgical landmark we should remember two sides one is the external genu external genu and another is the cochleary formis from external genu when external genu uh, when we go um, uh, one mm above then there is oval window look one mm above there is oval window and when we come uh, two mm downward 2 mm downward there is uh, incus sort process incus ka sort process is 2 mm downward and when you go anteriorly and downward then there is uh, lateral semicircular canal when you go anteriorly and downward anteriorly and inferiorly 2 mm anterior and inferior 2 mm that mm, there is lateral semicircular canal semicircular canal now this is all for the external genu region now comes to the uh, cochleary formis process cochleary formis process okay this is the mm, exact site and now when we go um, 1 mm above the cochleary formis uh, 1 mm above there is what geniculate ganglion look geniculate ganglion is 1 mm above and um, when we go posterior and posterior and above 2 mm sorry 1 mm of cochlear formis then there is posterior and above there is cog so these were the way to remember the surgical landmark of the uh, facial nerve external geniculate cochlear formis so now we will uh, continue with the manifestation of the uh, upper and lower motor um, palsy uh, palsy so when um, if the upper um, motor neuron is uh, involved upper motor neuron is involved then it shows uh, forehead wrinkling and eye eye closure in the um, bilateral region there is present forehead wrinkling is present and eye closure is also present in if upper motor neuron palsy is seen but Mm, but the nosolabial fold uh, is lost in opposite direction and drooping of the angle is seen in the opposite direction in upper motor neuron upper motor lesion and lower motor lesion it usually shows uh, opposite side opposite side is affected and in this one same side is affected and same side uh, eye wrinkling absent eye closure absent eye cannot be closed wrinkle is also absent and then um, talking about the nosolabial fold is also fold is also lost uh, but in the same side and um, drooping of the saliva from the same side but here these both are present 
but only nosolabial fold and drooping of the saliva is absent and that is seen in the opposite side okay this was the uh, all for the upper motor and lower motor lesion now coming to the nerve palsy facial nerve palsy is usually due to uh, this cause and what are those cause that is main cause is idiopathic 55% is idiopathic and under idiopathic um, you need to talk about uh, uh, Bell's palsy and the other is uh, Macarson, male Carson Rosenthal syndrome, male Carson Rosenthal syndrome, then temporal bone trauma, temporal bone trauma can also cause infection from measles or CSOM, CSOM or measles infection can cause, neoplasm can cause uh, neoplasm of the parotid and acoustic neuroma neoplasm like acoustic neuroma uh, vestibular swanoma or acoustic neuroma glomus tumor or parotid tumor can cause uh, facial nerve palsy uh, mastoidectomy and parotid surgery can also cause they uh, comes under hydrogenic mastoidectomy and um, parotid surgery can also cause um, facial nerve palsy and um, miscellaneous um, like chronic disease uh, diabetes mellitus, diabetes mellitus and hypertension can also cause uh, facial nerve palsy. Now, um, directly talking about the diagnosis of the facial nerve, how can we diagnose the facial nerve uh, paralysis? For the diagnosis, we should remember um, that there are um, almost uh, four types of diagnostic criteria. The first we will describe about the topo diagnostic test. Topo diagnostic test and what is topo diagnostic test uh, then we can remember it as visa uh, visa look v for vestibulography can be got from audiometry vestibulometry sorry and this is electrocostography and uh, simmers test stepedial reflex test and the other is uh, salivary flow test i will repeat again uh, vest audiometry vestibulometry electrocostometry simmer test salivary flow test and a stipedial reflex test uh, this was all for the topo diagnostic test the other are electrical test electrical test can be either uh, uh, you can uh, nerve excitability test nerve excitability test look nerve excitability test and um, nerve stimulation test electroneuronography and electromyography myography neuronography electrical and stimulation test and that was for the electrical test now coming to uh, for the uh, last one is the facial nerve stimulation test we can examine the facial nerve by the uh, muscle which is supplied by the facial uh, nerve and we can examine uh, frontalis orbicularis oculi orbicularis oris buccinator and platysma muscle look regarding a uh, small test like uh, which are mostly usually done are uh, similar test similar test is usually uh, decreased by 30 percent more than 30 percent uh, in the patient of the facial nerve injury and uh, other tests are not uh, significant so regarding diagnosis these are the names which we should remember now coming to the Bell's palsy Bell's palsy is a uh, Bell's palsy is acute onset idiopathic unilateral self-limiting disease uh, which usually regresses in 85 percent condition within three weeks idiopathic unilateral self-limiting and 85 percent usually regresses in three weeks and the cause is usually regarded as viral infection ischemia hereditary and autoimmune cause and regarding the clinical feature there is same if this is face then the wrinkling is lost and the eye is unable to close the nosolabial um, fold is uh, nosolabial fold is uh, absent and there is uh, dropping of the saliva and um, dribbling of the uh, saliva and drooping of the angle of mouth and then this is the classical feature for the um, uh, clinical feature for the facial nerve and what is the medical treatment for the facial Bell's palsy then Bell's palsy patient is prescribed with prednisolone acyclovir for the um, herpes infection 
and eye care is voluntarily closure of the eye is done and uh, physiotherapy is usually uh, provided with the facial nerve facial nerve decompression and facial nerve stimulation physiotherapy so it usually regresses on its itself so there is just the medical treatment uh, should be symptomatic relief regarding male corson rosenthal syndrome male corson rosenthal syndrome that is a, a symptom consists of uh, uh, 4f look what are those 4f uh, facial nerve paralysis paralysis fissure teeth uh, sorry fissure tongue facial edema familial history um, and that is all for the male corson rosenthal syndrome now coming to the surgical treatment of the surgical treatment is uh, for the facial nerve uh, injury then surgically we can do facial nerve decompression facial nerve decompression and neurography can be done neurography neurography can be done nerve and muscle transposition is also performed nerve or muscle transposition and which nerve is usually transposed with the facial nerve then that is hypoglossal nerve and what are the muscle that is transposed and that can be either transporalis temporalis and masseter temporalis and masseter and this is hypoglossal nerve uh, and the treatment protocol says that in um, the paralysis is up to three weeks then only nerve decompression and nerve repair is performed if it is uh, three weeks to two years then uh, we should go for the nerve transposition and um, more than two years uh, there should be nerve transposition along with nerve repair and muscle transposition should also be performed and this is all for the facial nerve